Welcome back to another Sunday prep day. Um, I'm going to just start with chopping up some produce and I'll go over my menu. So we'll start with some chilies. Those are going to go in some stir fry, some stuffed peppers and some salsa. So for lunch today, I'm going to just do some sandwiches with some bacon. And then for dinner tonight, I'm going to do some sirkol sampot, or sauerkraut mashed with potatoes. And I'll have some uh, smoked sausage with that. And then tomorrow for Meatless Monday, for lunch, I'm just going to do a salad again. And then for uh, dinner, I am... Um, yeah, I have some um, vegan fish sticks. So there's not actually fish in them, but I'll have that with some uh, broccoli and some uh, roasted potatoes from the air fryer. I'll probably do some wedges. I'm just taking the seeds out of these jalapenos. And then on Tuesday, I was going to do some broccoli wraps because I have a lot of uh, like broccoli stems left over, but I'm not really feeling wraps, so I'm just going to cut them up fine and do like a little stir fry with, uh, I think with some chicken. And then for dinner, I'm going to do some tacos and they're going to be chicken and I'm going to make two kinds of salsa. One I'll use on Tuesday and the other I'll use on Friday with my uh, fish tacos. But I'm going to make like a, a pomegranate salad and a pomegranate salsa and um, a, mon a mango salsa. So. And I'll also actually do some pomegranate with my salad tomorrow. On the Wednesday, I'm going to do some Brussels sprouts with bacon and some onions and maybe some peppers and chilies. I did that the last, was it last week? I think the week before. I never liked Brussels sprouts growing up, but if you stir fry them or roast them, they're not that bad actually. And I do like them with bacon. Um, and then for dinner on Wednesday, I'll do some stuffed peppers. So I'll do some, uh, rice and some, uh, ground beef. And what else? Uh, some onion, some leek, maybe some carrot. And I'll just stuff that in some peppers. Speaking of, I'm just going to clean these out. And I'm going to use half a red pepper and half a yellow pepper for the stuffed peppers. And the rest I'll just cut finer for the stir fries and that kind of stuff. So Thursday I'll do some more of that broccoli stir fry. And then for dinner I'll do some pasta. And then on Friday for lunch, as always, I don't know yet, depends on leftovers. And for dinner, I'm going to do some uh, fish tacos. So I'll do that either with the mango salsa or the um, um, pomegranate, depends on which one I use on Tuesday. So yeah, I'll just quickly... Uh, run through all these peppers and actually I need some strips as well for my salad before I forget how do you like your salad I don't really like dressing that much so I just usually do peppers and cucumber sometimes some um, uh, onion and some nuts or some pomegranate <clears throat> we'll have a red one as well I'll 
glue this one in half rings. do this one in smaller pieces. And then I just have this green one that I'll do into small pieces as well. potatoes. Uh, this one I'm just going to cut into wedges for tomorrow to go with my uh, broccoli and vegan fish sticks. So I'll just air fry those for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Put some seasoning on. Let me uh, do one more. Yeah, I like doing like a, a dressing with um, some oil and some smoked paprika, some garlic powder, onion powder, some chili powder, and some salt, and just to mix that in. some more potatoes that I'm just going to peel and those are for my sauerkraut tonight. So I'll just cut these into chunks. And I'll put these in some water. What shall we do next? We'll do some carrots. These are the last of a big bunch, so they do need to be used up. So I'll just cut them really fine, and I can use them in either my uh, stuffed peppers or in my stir fries, or both. So I'll just cut them into little medallions. Let's do some cucumber. I'll just do some slices for my salad. I'll want some diced cucumber as well for my uh, salsa, but I'll save that for later in the week because if I have that on Friday, I don't think uh, diced cucumber will last that long. Just do some cilantro since that's right in front of me. So that's going to go in the salsas. of uh, broccoli and yeah I didn't feel like making the 
the wraps. So I'm just going to cut them nice and fine. Because you can perfectly eat these uh, broccoli stalks. They're actually quite nice. You can make broccoli rice with them. You can just cut them into small pieces. You can make the, the wraps. So definitely don't throw them away. Actually, I'll use a bigger container. So I have like four stems here. So the only thing I'm not using is the very, very end bit because that's quite dry and woody. But the rest is delicious. You can actually peel the stems before you chop them up. I just don't really bother because if it's fine like this, it really doesn't matter. And then here I have some more broccoli and I'm just going to take the florets off for tomorrow. And the stems I'll save for next time because I have enough right now. Cabbage family, I have some sprouts, so I'm just going to cut the end off and then cut it in half. These are pretty small. If you have bigger ones, you probably want to corner them, but these little ones, just half. Okay, that's the sprouts done. Let's do some leek. So this is just for the stir fry and maybe the stuffed peppers and the pasta. some garlic cloves that I've peeled. So I'll just chop those fine. Let's do some onions. The same thing for the stir fries, for the pasta, for the stuffed pepper. So I'll just do one red onion and one yellow onion, and I'll cut them in half rings. And then we have some shallots that I'm going to cut fine for the salsas. So I'll just cut them in half. Cut lengthwise and cut across. So I'll probably do four, two for each salsa. Nice and fine.
All right, we're nearly there. I have this mango. So I'll just cut that into small pieces, score it. And crosswise. And then I'll get a spoon and just scoop it out. Cut the other cheek off as well. Then again, just score it. And then we have this piece, and this just makes an excellent snack. And lastly, we have the pomegranate. So I don't have a good hack to do this, it's just tedious, but I like to score the skin. And all the way through and I'll just open it up. take all the kernels out and make sure you don't get any of the skin in the little membrane so yeah just take this is out just run your finger over it and get all the little arrows out so yeah to this you just add some of your your cilantro your shallots cucumber peppers salt chilies, and some uh, lime juice, mix that up, and you'll have a really nice salsa. So that's the pomegranate there done, and with that, we have everything ready for the week. When it's time to make lunch or dinner now, I just have to throw a few things together, and it only takes me minutes to have food on the table. So if you like this, I do this every single Sunday. There's a playlist linked at the end, and... Yeah, uh, every Saturday I do grocery hauls and well, once a month I do videos about me shopping by bicycle here in the Netherlands. And I think soon again, maybe next week or the week after, I'll do another What I Eat in a Day because uh, people seem to enjoy those. So anyway, uh, if you like this, leave a like, leave a comment, maybe subscribe. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye.